Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial using FreeCAD 1.0. In today's video, I will teach you how to model this alignment bracket under 10 minutes. Let's get started. Open FreeCAD software and pick Empty File. Switch to Part Design Workbench. If you are completely new to FreeCAD, I recommend you to watch my user interface quick tour tutorial video. First step in any 3D modeling is to create a 2D sketch. The sketch is a 2D plane where you draw the cross section or profile of the 3D feature you want to create. Click on Create Sketch command and pick XZ plane. Pick Centered Rectangle from this drop-down, click on the origin. Make sure the cursor looks like this. Type 60 mil for the width, press enter. Type 32 mil for the height, press enter. Close the window. Now we will extrude this profile using the pad command. Click on pad command and type 16 for the length. Press Enter. Next, we will remove these shapes using the pocket command. Click on this face and pick Create Sketch Command. Click on this Create External Geometry Command and pick these two edges. This command projects existing 3D edges or vertices onto your current 2D sketch so that any new geometry you sketch can be accurately constrained and aligned to the underlying solid model, ensuring your design updates correctly if the original feature changes. Right-click to exit the command and click on Rectangle Command. Start drawing the rectangle on this axis. Make sure the cursor looks like this. This will apply automatic constraints. The purpose of constraints in 3D modeling is to control and define the relationships between geometric elements, ensuring predictable and stable behavior when editing. Finish it at this edge. Again, make sure the cursor looks like this. Switch to regular rectangle command and draw two rectangles like this. Right-click to exit. Click on Dimension Command. And pick this line. Type 15 and press Enter. Pick this line. Type 25 and press Enter. Add two more dimensions, like this. Now I am going to apply equal constraints to these two rectangles. So if I have to change the dimensions in the future, it will affect both. Click on this line and this line. As you can see, the equal length constraint is added along with horizontal constraint. Do the same for these two lines. Now click on Create Polyline Command and start drawing at this edge. Draw a shape like this and make sure automatic constraints are applied. If you get this message, just click on this redundant constraint number and press Delete key on your keyboard. Now, click on Dimension Command and add these dimensions. Right-click to exit. Click on this command to add symmetric constraint. Click on these two points, and then this middle axis. We will fix this message later. Let's continue applying symmetric constraint to bottom line. Pick these two points and the middle axis. Again, to solve this error, just click on this numbers and hit the delete button. 
Now the lines are in green color. This means it is fully constrained. Close the window. Make sure the sketch is selected and click on Pocket Command. Change to Through All Type to cut through entire part. Click OK to close the window. Now we will add these counter sinkhole using the hole command. Click on this face and click on Create Sketch Command. I am going to rotate the model so the front is facing down. Click on this command again to copy reference lines from existing solid and click on this edge and this edge. Click on circle command and draw two circles like this. Make it four mil diameter. Click on dimension command and add these dimensions to make it fully constrained sketch. Click on horizontal constraint from this drop down and click on center of these two circles to align them horizontally. Make sure it is fully constrained. Close the window. Click on Whole Command. Change this to ISO Metric Regular Profile. Change the size to M4. And Whole Cut Type to Counter Sync. Type 8 mil for the diameter. Click OK to close the window. Next, we will add chamfer and fillet to these corners. Click on chamfer command. And pick these two edges. Change the size to 5 mil and press enter. Click on Fillet command to add roundness to these edges. Change the radius to 4 mil and press Enter. All right, let's do the last step, which is adding this hole. Click on this face and click on Create Sketch Command. Let's copy this external reference edge. Draw a circle like this and make it 7 mil diameter. Add these dimensions to make it fully constrained sketch. Close the window and click on Pocket Command. Change to Through All Type and click OK. The model is now complete. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you soon.